In this quick tips video, let's take some shapefile information that we've got and bring it into Civil 3D and save us some time. So what we have, we've been provided a shapefile of some houses and in that shapefile includes an address. And our task is that we have to label in Civil 3D the addresses of those homes for our plan production or whatever, but that's our task. So rather than taking this and retyping each and every one, we are going to take and utilize some tools and do this on the fly. So the first thing I'm going to do is in Civil 3D, I am going to set my coordinate system to the appropriate one, and in my case, it's in Northern Florida. And now we're going to bring that shape file in. We're going to type map W space for map workspace and we're going to turn that task plane on. With that on, we're going to go to data and connect to data, and we are going to be connecting a shape file. I'm going to give it a name. I don't think I spelled that right, but there we go. And since we're connecting to a shape file, I'm going to click the shape file button and navigate to where it needs to be. So, and I put this on my desktop here. And here's our shape file, and I'm going to hit open and connect. It knows it's in Florida, which is good. It knows its coordinate system. So I'm going to hit add to map, and I'm going to close this dialog box and zoom extents. And here are my dots for my shape file. If I turn on my background map, confirm that it's coming in in the right area. And it is, so we're good to go there. So I'll turn that back off. Now, this task plane, it operates very similar to ArcGIS in that I can right click on this and go to edit its style and change the way it looks, whether it, what symbol it uses and so forth. And I can label it. So I'm going to hit this ellipsis under label features. I'm going to leave it on device. And we're going to label it in points, units in points. We're going to add a label. Now this label, I'm going to leave all this alone for now, other than the color. This is weird uh, in this connection. My background is black. I don't know if you're using black. Um, you will want to change this font to something other than black, or you will not be able to see it. So I'm going to use red for the time being. Our text content is not static. We want to use one of these fields that came in. So we'll come up here to address. I'm going to hit apply, close, and you can see it automatically labeled it. And I'm going to close this dialog box. And here are those addresses of each and every one of those points. Okay. So now that that's there, I will select it, one of them. And with this, uh, well, I don't have to select the label. With the data set or the shape file selected, notice my contextual ribbon has changed. Right here is labeled to text. I'm going to hit label to text. I'm going to, I want it as in text. I'm using that source feature layer. And I want it to create, uh, you can put it on an existing layer. I'm going to, in this case, say create. And all existing labels from the selected feature in my case, or you could just do the ones that are in your view, depending on what you're doing, but I'm going to hit OK. Let process that, and there they are. Now they are in text. They also show up in the pane. Now that those, in, those are converted to in text, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this layer from my drawing. Just so it's not there and for a little bit i'm going to go to connect data and i'm going to disconnect and delete i did that because you do not want to select those objects and delete them uh, when you make a connection this way you are making a true connection to the data so if you moved one of those points or deleted it you would be editing the shape file so keep that in mind so now i've got all my labels uh, if i select one and i go to my properties dialog box let me get that unpinned here. You'll notice that it says it's on the font style, but it's not necessarily correct. What I like to do is I will select all of them. 
and I will change it to something else and then back to what I want it to be to ensure. And now I have them in my font style of my drawing. I can move them around as I need to for my plan assembly and I didn't have to type anything. But that's it for our quick tip. If you like this content, please click like and feel free to subscribe if you want updates when I post more information.